Uh, Lee Smith, Tri-State Defender. Uh, Coach, uh, a lot of the talk here in Memphis had been about throwing something different at you that you hadn't seen in this series already. What looked different on your end in terms of what Memphis was trying to do and how did you counter it? Uh, I, I just give them a lot of credit tonight for their physicality, uh, the purpose they came with, uh, the pride they showed, uh, and the mental toughness uh, for 48 minutes. And, you know, we, we did a good job of fighting it from time to time. We weren't as consistent as I'd, as I'd like uh, offensively, but uh, I thought their game plan was great, and I thought their effort was even better. So that's why it was such a good game. Uh, Pop, speaking of mental toughness, uh, your, your guys faced a, you know, a tough situation. Uh, you speak to uh, what Kawhi did down the stretch in, in taking over offensively in those last uh, three or four minutes? Well, you know, Kawhi's a great player, and he's not afraid to put himself in situations where the shots are big and the shots are important. And, uh, you know, between he and LaMarcus, we try to put him in those in those spots, and neither one of them backs down from him. But I thought it was a, a good team effort in the second half. We just had one turnover in the fourth quarter, and I thought, you know, Kyle came in and did a great job. Everybody participated because I thought we were a little disjointed at times. Uh, mostly because of their pressure and their physical toughness tonight. But we fought through it, and uh, it was a good team win because a lot of people participated. Coach, a lot has been made in this series about uh, how well your team has been playing uh, coming into the playoffs and how healthy you are versus how undermanned uh, this team are. Have you ever bought into that, or did, did, did you know that? Obviously, you know this, Mark and yeah. Mike. And well, it is a fact they're undermanned. I yeah. mean, that, that's for sure. But... Uh, as coaches and players in the NBA, we, you know, the players know and the coaches know. It's uh, you'd rather have all your horses, but uh, many, many times it it works uh, in the team's favor that that does have the injuries. Uh, you come out like they did tonight, and they easily could have won that basketball game. Uh, so it's like a coach's worst nightmare, both to go up by 20 in the first quarter because you know with that clock it's going to change, uh, or playing an injured team because they bring it, and somebody else can always step up. So uh, I never like to be in that situation. I always like to play somebody who's whole. Uh, you just do your stuff, and it, everything seems better. But you got to do too much mental, psychological junk if a team is injured, because they do get an advantage for it. Anybody else? Yes. Greg, what kind of adjustments? I mean, obviously, you got a great performance out of Memphis that you looked to, to kind of hamper in, in game four, kind of how you set that up for game four. Our adjustments? How do you, from what you saw from Memphis tonight, the difference in, in, in bringing in game three and how you might want to adjust to, like you said, physicality? Uh, we're, we're just going to come and play, and try to do what we do to the best of our ability. That's what the game is all about. There's 48 minutes, and you try to execute for more of the 48 than your opponent, and you try to compete better than your opponent for 48. It's, it's a pretty simple game. 